Do you watch a ton of video on your smartphone or tablet? Maybe even more than you do on your TV. If you're a fan of immersive sound and wouldn't mind having that in a portable package, then the Sony HT-AX7 just might be the speaker for you. Design. It's basically a blend between design, sound, and usability all into one portable package. It comes in this nice neutral gray color fabric, which I think is sleek and should fit in any home aesthetic. With an advertised 30 hour battery life at normal volume and a quick charge feature of just 10 minutes of charging in exchange for two and a half hours of usage, it's a solid runtime. All in all, this is a four speaker system with two of those speakers being within the front speaker unit and the other two being the removable ones. Yes, they're removable. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm getting there. But the standout feature of this unit is the fact that you can create a spatial sound mapping by removing the two speaker units and placing them within a radius of 1 to 1.2 meters. By doing this and enabling the sound field feature, the AX7 uses monopole synthesis technology to create a spatial sound experience. Now this is taking a typical two channel audio of left and right and giving you a more spatial sound experience. Connectivity. Now when it comes to connectivity, your options are Bluetooth, Google Fastpair, USB Type-C, and Sony's Home Entertainment Connect app. You also get multi-point connection, allowing you to connect two devices at the same time so you can switch devices by simply pressing the play button, along with the last device connection, where you just turn on power to connect to the last connection. Now that that's out the way, let's get into the most important part, and that's how they sound. Ah. All right, so I'm gonna do my first just quick, you know, initial listen. I haven't listened to anything. Only thing it did was play the little 360 spatial demo. So right now the whole thing is put together. Ooh, bass. Wait. Okay. So I'm just gonna listen to it as a regular speaker for now. Wait. Okay. They claim they want beef like I ain't in a seat. If I turn them to vegan, I'm really a creature. She sent me the beef and I beat it and play it. So I'll take that speaker off. I'm not in that the mind. Turn it off to the left. To the people that knew me and traded sides. But my mind don't hear me to make it right. I'm not in the dollar been taking mine. Quick, fresh when I get sick. I'm looking at my sticks. Think I lost my sticks. Move to the neck. I've been acting real different. Now I'm at your neck. I won't lose my grip. All right, so cool. So look, Pete Gang, uh, as far as uh onboard controls you can see we got the bluetooth button right there pause play up and down obviously for volume and then you got the sound field so the sound field is when you want to create the sound field where well, you got to pull these off obviously <laughs> in a triangular shape around you and then you're going to create the sound field so you can press that see now i got the sound field going and i'm gonna hit play real quick to my grip i didn't stress take a total my yeah I got for round of applause, taking the cash to deposit. All of that talking is polished. Played out the gate, they seem praise, but I'm unapproachable. Save it. Keep telling me I've been on with. Now, you have multiple ways of experiencing the sound of this speaker. You can listen to it as one unit all put together. You can remove the two smaller speakers and create a wider stereo experience. Or you can create a radius with all three speakers, enable sound field, and experience a portable theater system with 360 spatial sound mapping. Now, you wouldn't think this would typically be possible without a soundbar, sub, and rear speakers, but it is. Now, it won't obviously be the exact same due to sizing, but I must admit, it's a far more immersive experience than a typical Bluetooth speaker or any onboard phone slash tablet speakers by far. I proceeded to watch Extraction 2 on my iPhone 14 Pro Max in a bedroom setting on my bed, and the sound was quite impressive. Definitely takes watching any video or movie on a smartphone slash tablet to the next level. And the same can be said for music consumption. Now I did crank the bass up a few notches in the Home Entertainment Connect app as I tend to listen to more sub-driven style music. But the stereo image on this speaker is very clean and clear. Now speaking of the app you use in conjunction with this speaker, the Home Entertainment Connect app offers a bunch of useful features you can control from your phone without ever having to touch the speaker. 
You can turn it on and off from the app. You can switch between various modes like night mode, sound field, and voice mode, control the volume, adjust rear speaker levels, bass levels, and many other useful settings. In conclusion, this product offers a unique audio user experience. By taking two-channel audio and translating it into a 360 spatial sound mapping, it just gives you a far more immersive way to consume your favorite audio and video content in a portable fashion. So the next time you want immersive audio on the go, I'm sure you'll think about the AX7. Sony's approach to the speaker is fun, usable, and quite unique.